Not even a week on from the Super Typhoon, we're back in business with a Saturday meeting at Chartin. Ten race programmes, seven on the turf, three on the all-weather. The Farquet Cup is the feature race, comes up as race number five. I'm Andrew Lejeune, very warm welcome to the show. Joined here in the studio by Paul Lally, our former analyst and race caller, Brett Davis as well. And Brett, fresh up after the little enforced break. Of course, no Happy Valley midweek either. No, that's right, Andrew. Yeah, so we've had a, a little freshen up. Um, and uh, so has everybody, I would have thought. And we'll go into a meeting with ten races on the card, three on the dirt, as you've suggested. Uh, Rail will be in the true position for the turf racing as well. So back into the A course, and there's a big jackpot in the six up, which Paul will highlight. Yep, so there's been a bit of time to study for that, Paul. It's a fair old uh, whack going in. Yeah, 7.2 million, which is uh, uh, jackpotting in. So we're expecting it to get up to about $12 million. Uh, for the six up win one that's the only one that's around at the moment but it's a decent one and mm. uh, some good good races coming up there's a couple of interesting first starters and a few in the all weather as we mentioned so a mixed bag for everyone mm. an american theme as well yeah yep. all of the, uh, the yep. races named after american citizens a few horses that had entries for last weekend are back in again this weekend. That's so right. Yeah, there are. There's um, quite a number of them that we actually were tipping um, <laughs> because we sort of did prepare a racing to win, but obviously it got blown away, so to speak. Um, and then now they're in different races and different scenarios and some of them aren't getting tipped. So mm. it'll be interesting to see how they perform. All right, so we'll get into that uh, with the 10 races uh, to get uh, through before we uh, have a look at the uh, the opening contest, have a look at the horses that aren't going round. At this stage, race five, number 12, everyone's elite is out. Race uh, five, number 12, and that is the feature race. So for meeting number five, seven turf, three all weather, the A course is where we race. The first two races, though, are in fact on the dirt. We start off with a class four over the 1,200 metres with Dashing Gainer. Yet to win in nine, has placed on the surface, though he's first up since May. Lightning Steve blinkers on, so he tackles the all weather for the first time. Just not listening. Third on his all weather debut. That was behind Amazing Moment back in July. Uh, Flying Godspell now with Jimmy Ting. Star Superior course and distance win the last uh, Season and down to Sincere Horse. Mark of 40, so not far off a class drop. He's been last on all three of his starts so far, Brett. That is the case. There's likely to be a fair bit of pace, you would have thought, in the first. Dashing Gain is a good speedy type, as is King Mortar, who's got the £10 claim for Victor Wong. We know Flying Godspell's done most of his best racing on the speed. Golden Effort has drawn a barrier for once, and Lightning Steed with blinkers on should get some nice position with cover. Um, just not listening, Gouton of Garrow, where do they end up? Potentially caught wide unless they press on or drop back. Uh, first one is one of those on-pace runners is Dashing Gainer. You can see he's just pushed out a little bit here, just been kept up to his work. Uh, he, he has got form on the surface. Uh, he will be running on it, obviously, on uh, Saturday, but you can see he's just uh, really pushed out a little bit. He just, I think he was just being a bit lazy, to be honest. Uh, great joys going nicely. His last winner was off uh, 52. He's uh, now off 55, so he's getting down to a uh, winnable rating. And uh, Zach Pert and the board ran some pretty consistent races off higher ratings as well. So he's quite forward um, for, for a good run. And the other one we're going to have a look at here is Flying Godspell. Just working with Triumphant Jewel, who'll be running later in the day. But Flying Godspell is the one closest to us. Uh, Jimmy Ting, of course, he seems to have a knack of winning these first races. And he's come up a $1.80 chance, and I wonder if that's the Jimmy Ting factor. It might be a little bit money back a place. Triumphant Jewel we'll see later on. But that's, in actual fact, uh, the first race we'll look at now, as far as a form reference, is Triumphant Jewel, who's far left of screen at the moment, along with Lightning Steed and Star Superior. Yeah, yeah here it is now. And you can see Lightning Steed there going really nicely on the outside. Obviously, this is 1,000 metres. He steps up to 1,200 metres on a different surface so, uh, with the blinkers on. So, different type of race for him. And Star Superior hit the line. So, both 1,200 suit both horses. Yeah, I got them both in. I think Star Superior actually might be the improver. He is a horse that's one second up. And overall, for me, he's been a better uh, horse on the all weather. So, I think that's a positive for him. All right, course and distance winner last season. Dylan Moe taking five pounds off. That'll help. Um, Dashing Gainer. Having a look at him um, trying. Now, he's out in front on this occasion. He's coming with barrier three as well. He's still uh, a maiden, though. Yeah, he had nine starts last campaign, and the first half a dozen of them, he was pretty much a speedy squib, but he started to find the line a little stronger towards the end of his campaign. And as Paul mentioned before, when he stepped onto this surface, he found the line a little better. This is a recent trial. I thought the trial was decent enough from three. He'll give you a good side out on the pace. Yeah, I found a spot for him. Um, uh, the only thing is there's three leaders in this race, so mm. there might be a little bit of pressure, really. All right. I said he was a maiden. He's a maiden in Hong Kong. Yeah. He's a winner in Australia. Um, this is uh, Flying Godspell. Um, pretty good on the surface. And Sincere Horse, I think it's a better effort from him. Yeah, he trolled. Uh, it looks like he might have improved in the summer. But Flying Godspell has come up very short. Odds on. Uh, he's left me Choi. He's gone to Jimmy Ting. I think a lot of that money is the Jimmy Ting winning the first race factor, although he did trial well. 
He's not going to get in his own way, though, because there's another two leaders in the race. be interesting to see if Jimmy can get the horse to improve. Um, me, Choi's a pretty good trainer of horses mm. on the all-weather. The other one's had too many issues for me. Sincere horse, I'm happy to watch. All right, and Garrison of Garra, he, uh, he promised a little bit last season. Yeah, he did. This was a nice enough trial. The, the short trip of 1,200, a little bit of a query for me. I, I know it was 1,200 here in the trial, but he's drawn wide. There is a lot of pace, so I don't think he'll be able to lead. Wouldn't be surprised if he hits the line OK. Yeah, I think he can sit in behind this strong pace and sort of swamp them because at the 1650 metres where he did um, run on the surface, he was in front with 50 to go and just, just faded. So I just thought that was maybe just a step too far. So I think the 1200 is OK for him. All right. All the early money, though, for Flying Godspell. What do you say? For yeah, him? I'm going to take him on with the Gout and the Gary because I think with these three horses going forward, he's got enough speed where he can just slot in behind. And I think he can get a really good run. And he got a really good run in that trial and did hit the line really nicely. He obviously likes the surface. So he's on top to beat the favourite for Flying Godspell. Um, I'm going to give Great Joy a chance. Uh, he's come, come up at pretty good odds as well. Uh, he's quite well rated at the moment on Jack Pert on the board. And a dashing gain or another one that does like the surface. I ended up with seven, six, four, and one. But at fifteen dollars, I think Galton and Garrett could be a good each way bet on the all weather. Yeah, fair enough. It's a race with a few hopes. I'll go with Flying Godspell. The trial was good. Dashing gainer will be on the pace as well. And I think generally, you know, on the pace is probably the preferred spot on the dirt. But we do see the occasions where they come from the back, and if that is happening, then Lightning Steed should sit in behind. I think Star Superior will as well, and Gautner Garrow is obviously the interesting runner too. So I ended up with 6, 1, 3 and 8. I'll banker the 6 in a trio. As you can see, I had Gautner Garrow in that trio as well. Mm, yeah, those sort of prices I'll be taking on the favourite. I thought Lightning Steed and Gashing, Dashing Gainer might offer some each-way value. That's the first.